Today our tournament sponsor is at V's Pro Shop, located at Fort Shafter Bowling Center. And here we are back at Holly Lane's with our audience. V's Pro Shop open. Gavin and Lexi in the gang. Once again, Scott Mitomer here with Darley Horyuchi and Vasim Anwar. First shot of side. <laughs> Going back to how he started. He's not going to let up. Okay, real interesting this match because he's challenging our tournament leader, James Canteri. And he's also a left-hander. Who's a defending champion here at Poly. Mr. Yes. I want to see if the shot is going to change, if it's going to transition. Because James is throwing a... A duller ball, ball a little bit more surface. I'm just wondering if he's going to change size line a little bit. One of his keys today was to play that inside line. It's kind of interesting because of all the bowlers today, no one played the inside shot. They played break shot. The break point at least was outside the ten. But he's going way inside, throwing a ball out. As Scott said, with a duller ball. It carries a 6'10". We see James today shot gains of 278, 226, and 216 for a big 720 series. His first match play, he defeated Gabby Hassel, 233 to 184. Second match play, defeated Keith Odette, 243 to 232. He averaged 239 today, which seated him first on TV. And that match between him and um, Keith Odette, that was a really exciting match. It sure was. He was losing the whole game until I think the ninth or tenth frame, and he pulled it out at the end. Yep. James left the half seven. You know, because he's throwing a ball with surface, I'm just wondering if his ball's losing a little bit of energy. You see that? I, get, I think he's trying to compensate that by, you know, lofting it 10, 15 feet down the lane. You know, he's staying really upright with his approach, the, the usual way he bowls. But, you know, because his knee's not bending so much, he gets that lock all, almost halfway down the lane. And the loft seems to work well at certain houses, like Poly Lane's is half synthetic, half wood. And, right. Um, especially with the heads that dry up so fast here. Wow. Sai so throwing at, around the 12 at the arrows. Interesting contrasting stuff because size ball you don't even hear it hit the lane and, and it's and getting a lot lower and 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 uh, James is playing can, more in and lofting the ball. You can hear his ball 10, 15 lanes down. You can hear James bowling. Okay. Side creeps a little high, leaves a six spin. Just read read the lanes a little bit too early. Leaves the six spin. I'm just, I'm just really curious to see. I'm going to make a prediction. The left hand, left hand is going to win. <laughs> I don't think the scores are going to be as high this game. Mm. I'm going to go against that. I think the scores are going to be really high. Okay, we'll see. Okay. Sai with that spare in the third frame. Ahead by two, uh, ten pins. In front of James. And uh, he's using a switch grip there, one of our sponsors, Turbo 2 in 1. And you can interchange your thumb grip. Way out. And James comes in high. That's a messenger. Messenger, six pin. <laughs> I need to take notes, man. Well, let's take a look at James. Watch bio. this. I, I don't even know what pin this is. Let's take a look. That is the, the two, pin. two pin. We'll see it now. Yeah, yep. two pin. Two pin. Bump. Excuse me. Gets it out. Okay. Oh. Good flush on lane five. This is a match now. This is a championship match. Okay, side needs to respond. All tied up. Oh, trips the six. 
Right, right, right. Right over the 12 again. Right a little bit high, but, you know. Well, his shot is changing because his ball was going through the lane, down the lane, really clean earlier. And yeah. now, it, now it's rolling a little earlier. And James is inside of Psy right now, so they could be, they're playing, you know, with each other's just line. Right over the 12. And this ball, he, he is getting less length down the lane. He really wanted that one. It's very good off his hand, yeah. good balance. I mean, he's, he's matching up to the lanes really, really well. He has another ball that he's been throwing all day also, but during practice, like, like in the last game, he's been leaving a lot of seven pins, a lot of flat seven pins. So maybe we might see a ball change since we saw two high shots. So going to uh, James' uh, bio sheet, he is not married, um, no significant other right now. I would like to special send his special thanks to his family for all of the support and all of the poly crew. Oh, oh, oh solid nine. Got a good break and wow. got a bad break now. Two taps so far. Two real taps. One eight pin by Daryl and now nine pin. Uh, he really wanted that one because that was for the lead. Sure did. <laughs> like Daryl's eight pin, it actually turned a little. Okay, gets the spare. Uh, going back to his special things, he likes to thank Jacko, Bowler's Edge, AMF, and Storm. He is currently averaging 217 with a lifetime high average of 230. He has bowled three, three 300 games, has been on TV 21 times, and has won four titles. Also, special special thanks to Annie Ortiz and Basim Anwar. Oh, comes in light. Oh, he did a slap and a pump. It's the ball way out there. Pass the five board. Playing that inside line, like he said. It's pumped up. Yeah, both of these bowlers are really aggressive, really emotional. It's going to be a really high intense game. Sigh up by one pin yet. Well, he made an adjustment. Yeah, he um, changed his hand position and changed the rotation on his ball. Flattening out just a little because he noticed that the balls were coming, his um, shots were coming in high. He flattened out, flattened out the ball a little bit. Didn't go for a ball change though and came in. Was able it, to carry. That was an old school change. Yeah. You know, a lot of the younger players just go to another ball, but um, the old timers tend to play with their hand position. This one got a way out. Oh! Almost pocket 710. Hmm. That would have not been good. Especially this late in the game. That's a, that was a big shot because now he doesn't get his double. He loses his lead, potentially. And gives the opportunity to James. But right at the same to time, he, at least he carried the 710. Right. He carried a 7 out. No, he has to pick this up. Oh. Really important. No problem. Okay, let's see what James does now. This is this is like a turning point in the match right here. If James can double, he can take the lead for the first time. Seems to be having a little problem here. I think his thumb slug came out in the back. Okay. Looks like we're missing part of the bowling ball. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to break away, and we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to break away, and we'll be right back with the conclusion of the championship match. Okay, we're back here at Polynes for the conclusion of our championship match. James Kenteri up, going into the sixth frame. Folks, what happened? Uh, Part of his ball came apart. <laughs> and uh, James comes in high, leaves a 2-4. And um, 